What's up YouTube? MV Grower and today I'm, I'm doing everything live. Sorry for the footage because it's my phone. So I'm trying not to wiggle it all too much. But uh, I wanted to show you guys what I do for uh, for that soil. And what I actually throw in there. I've been over it in another video. But um, that was everything that I wanted to throw in there. And I decided to leave out some of the um, powdered dusting material. Because it um, managed to stink up my tent. Um, um, yeah, it, was, it was smelling um, ammonia. Ammoniac? How do you call that? Anywho, I threw in... Um, Kul Terra, it's this weird dust feeding, I guess, and it's blood meal, and um, I threw in too much, and therefore it started to smell like ammonia. Next to that, I did some research on ammonia, and the pH level of ammonia is 11.5. Can you imagine that? That this soil could have a pH of 11.5? Well, the top is looking like that. Underneath, well, not much powerful lights, but still, they do the job, you know. Temperature is 25 Celsius and 80 Fahrenheit, so that's good. But yeah, um, maybe it's a mixture between the pH and the feeding that I did. I guess. I don't know. But what I did is I got myself, not this, this time around, but... I got some, uh, so a gallon with some citrus in it so that it brings that pH down meaning that it's becoming more of an acid because more towards the 6.5 pH you know for marijuana you, uh, you need to put in a lots of uh, sour stuff to, uh, to bring it down from 11.5 all the way to 6.5 I'm, I'm just saying but it doesn't smell no more and um, maybe I can dig into that hay for you guys real quick. Maybe find some roly polies. Who knows? Maybe some worms. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, he's escaping. All them wormies are like, run, run. Got some babies in there. Got some. Got some roots going on. Oh, I just broke it. I don't, I don't I don't know what kind of plant it is, but it's a root. So everything's living in there. It's kind of dark for you guys. Next, dead. I also did a did a how do you call you guys call it a clover, but then normal clover, and I put it all in there in this tiny little hole. You know, and uh, not much is happening up until now, but it didn't have got any water. When I threw them seeds in, so it's all just dry. And this time around, I'm gonna throw some uh, some of that newt in. Now, let's talk about that newt, right? Let me get rid of uh, my of my hand gloves real quick because I just touched all that mycelia. Uh, yeah. Mycelia and um, feeding doesn't doesn't go well together. Because if you touch the feeding with that hand glove in which you touch the mycelia, everything starts to well get infected with that mycelia, and I don't I don't really want that. And again, I'm sorry for the footage. It's a phone. Bear with me. It's just a phone. It's not a fifteen hundred dollar camera. All right. Well, now that my hand glove is almost up, there, there we go. I wanted to show you guys something different because I got some potassium. It's called kali or kalium, 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 kalium. I don't know. And next to that, I got some seaweed. Next to that, I got some kelp. 
some actual real kelp. Um, I got some bone meal for that uh, for that phosphorus. And um, what I wanted to show you guys is I'm gonna cheat. So normally everybody throws in their dusting, right? All this this dusting material. I'm gonna show you guys real quick because this this stuff is just powdered powdered bland. And, and not not so especially this one because that bone meal is more like a crunchy stuff hope you guys can see there yes it smells a lot and my potassium Thomas Kali it's uh it's, it's pretty good but it's in, in it's in a sort of more of a solid state and then a powder so it doesn't dissolve as good as a powder does so everywhere in this hay are these tiny little balls, not that I'm going to show you guys, but they are there, trust me on that. And this stuff is basically, that was the bone meal, is basically this, but then in a, um, yeah, crunchy form, and this is more in a liquid form. And the, no, wait, 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 this one over here. Is potassium potassium is the extra that you need and that's one is this it's the booster that you put in there now the normal feeding for phosphor you know the the flower flower feeding flower nutrients that's the bone meal see it's, it's the pea from bone meal you know, from phosphorus show you guys real quick Phosphorus, organicu, or organicu, organicu, organic. It's phosphor. You know what I mean. So yeah. Um, but then in a solid state. And I want my uh, more than a liquid state. It's 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 easier. It's, not better necessarily but it isn't also worse because, because I don't I don't know why 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 a lot of people throw in that dusting I mean maybe it's cheaper you know um, but I, I don't know you know that the canna stuff is doing a pretty good job for me you know and next that I'm uh, I'm gonna ditch that kelp and put in this it's basically the same stuff, but from bottle. And it's bio, it's not necessarily organic, even though it says organic vitality stimulant and grace liquide revitalizante ecologico. It's, it's bio base is Spanish. And Kana is Dutch. You gotta love yourself some good old fan home. See that NL. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's Dutch, you guys. It's Dutch. So there's no intro. Um, as before, got um, you know, got deleted or something. And every video with that intro is uh, is being deleted, I guess. But for now. The only thing that I'm basically wanted to do is get myself some syringes. I've got my uh, elbow make over here. I got my fish mix. Now fish is necessary because fish mix is really good. They like it and everything in the bottom also likes it. Now next to that fish Fisher. I'm also gonna throw in some algamic because they do like that algae. I don't know why, but they just do. Next day, I'm uh, where the frick is it? One of these bottles is open. It's uh, ah, that's the one. It's zyme. Yes, it's zyme. Instead of putting in um, what you call it. It was a 
popcorn sprouty. Yes, it took me a while to figure that out, but popcorn sprouty. It's awesome, but I had it right there in that smaller tent, that 60 by 60 centimeter tent. And everything in here, which was in flower, got a whiff of all that moisture. And then everything went rotting. Top rot everywhere, I had to throw everything away. Luckily for me, I already collected some pollen. There they are, got some pollen. It's not a lot, but I don't need a lot. I just need another holo flower. And uh, mash all that, that pollen up and just sprinkle it on them, you know what I mean? Just sprinkle it on there. It's that easy. So yeah, um, I'm gonna, you know, give them some... Always oh, shake them bottles. There we go. And um, I'm going to throw this in as well. I'm, uh, I'm going to throw in that as well. And um, I don't know what this is. This is BioProtect. I don't, I don't get what it does. I don't get what it's for. It's from General Hydroponics. G H E yeah yo. It's French, Dutch, English, and uh, Spanish, obviously. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what it does. I don't know what it's for. I just got it with one of my one of my orders. And uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. I got the I got a smart pod. It's really huge. It's a, it's a smart pot of 270 gallon. Yeah, it's awesome. So it's a 100 gallon smart pot with a 380 liter. So that's a 100 gallon smart pot. What I want to do is put all of that, after that is done flowering, into this smart pot. Flip over the side so that it just becomes like this high. Fill everything up in that smart pot and then keep on growing, flowering. But you know, it's it's already really huge. Just just as a folded up thing, you know what I mean? It's for reference, you know. Bot catcher, root pot, plants, gigantic root pot. It's a it's a smart pot. Oh. It's too black. It's a smart pod and I'm really, really proud of it. I waited on it for two weeks because the retailer that I ordered it from didn't have it on stock and I had to wait two weeks for a American USA retailer to send it all the way to Europe, all the way to my country, and it took them freaking two weeks. I mean, I had to wait less on sex toys that came from freaking China. Sex toys from China took less than a root pod from America. America. So yeah. Let's go. You guys can possibly see that, what I'm doing. But. All right, so. I was busy with giving my plants some feeding. I'm gonna throw in, um, in, um, is my Zine bottle opened at all? Do I still need to, oh, I need to open it. I need to take off this tiny little thingy over here. Obviously it doesn't work. Just, just, uh, I just hate when that happens. There you go. Let go, very good. Okay, so, now I need to find my syringe for Zyme. There we go. I already gave it a shake, so that's good. Now Zyme is a two mils per liter. 2.5 mils a liter. That's uh, five times two and a half. That's uh, 22 and a half. I don't know if that's correct, 
because I'm stoned too. So here goes 12 mils. And you guys can almost not see that, but there we go. So it's it's a basic feeding that I'm doing. It's a zyme. I know, I know, it's not the 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 way all the other growers are doing it. But as already said, to do that seed sprout tea, I need that bucket with that air stone, with that barley in it, with that popcorn seed sprout tea in it, and all that moisture, which comes off from that tent goes into here and makes everything rot away. I've already had it before and I don't want it again. So I don't still don't know what this is for but whatever. Oh next day I'm gonna throw in um, no that's pretty thick. I'm gonna throw in my fish mix real quick or my uh, algum mix. Come on you can do it. Come on Freaking bottle. Come on. There you go. Ish. Yeah, it worked. So. Let's get ourself some good old fashion of this. Just a whole syringe filled with all that smudge. Mmm, nice and green. First I'm gonna cleanse it off a little. There you go. What if I just put it a little bit more here? Can you guys see it then? Yeah, you guys can see that. There you go. Put it all in. Oh, it's a little dark. You know, that's how things go sometimes. Where's the ball of good? Whatever it is. So that's the Elgamic, the full syringe. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Dump it in, get it in there, and put it in there. Right now, now to open the fish mix bottle. Did it? Is it up? No, it's almost. There we go. I mean, it's awesome that they're so well packed, but man, it's a pain in the ass if you have to do it one handed. But yeah, it's the price I have to pay to show you guys alive what I'm doing. Come on, come on, fish mix, get into that syringe. Go clean it off a little. Fish mix is nice and dirty. It's really thick. It's really nasty stuff. It's just, it just just sticks everywhere. It's, it's on my hands and my fingers. Arrgh. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna dump it in there. There you go. Not a lot, just a little. Now, you cannot give him enough fish. You want some fish? Oh, there you go. No, no, not gonna do that. But you cannot give him enough fish. It's a fact. They love it. They need it. It's uh, it's uh, good for uh, a lot of things, I guess. God damn it. So yeah, now that the fish is in. I'm gonna throw in some of my florists. And the florist is even thicker than the fish mix. Is this my florist thingy? Yep, it's my florist thingy. And a whole syringe of this. 
There we go. Come on, get in there. Come on. There you go. Put it all in there. Oop. There you go. Alright, and one more thing, it's the boost. The boost has to be in there as well. I'll open my boost bottle real quick. Squeeze some of the liquid in there. There you go. Grab some of it. Just put it all in there. Clean it off. Alright. Now that everything that I want is in there. Nice. Yeah, just like that. I have to, uh, I know, guy. You know, guys, you know how it is. I hope you guys at least saw that because I didn't. All right. Now, mixing all of uh, all of that smudge, which is in there, it's pretty easy. You know, I got that hem gloves on. Let's put my hand in there. I know it's a pretty weird thing to do, but the only thing I do when my hand's in there is slowly wiggling it around, or do like a sweeping kind of motion. Why? So that all them. All that stuff at the bottom is gonna spread. Otherwise, you're gonna give like this corner a lot of everything that's in that uh, in that thing, and the rest isn't getting anything. Again, sorry for the footage. It's my phone. I know my phone sucks. My joints out, and I'm using both hands, so I can't light it. Maybe next time I'm gonna use a candle. But every time I use both hands and have to uh, do something with my... Is that fungi? Is it fungi? No, it's feeding, okay. It's no fungi, that's good. It's no fungi. I don't want no fungus growing on my buckskin kitchen thingies. I just don't. I just don't want that. Right, well, now that I've mixed it... This thing is 5 liters. 5 liters is a little bit more than a gallon, right? Just real fast you guys, bear with me, bear with me. Right, there we go. Right, well, it's gonna be really easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, where do to start? Fuck it, I'm just gonna start right here. And just throw it all over there. There's a little over here, a little over there, a little over there. Alright. Alright, now for the back corner. You always go around the plan and then just dump it in there. And as for the other side, same thing behind the plant, and then just dump it all in there. There you go. A little bit more here, a little bit more over there. That's the biggest plant, so you know it needs a little more. Come on. Come on. There you go. Is 
It's beautiful. It smells. It's uh, decomposing, it's mulching, it's doing everything it needs to be doing. Now again, my title is Living Organic. And uh, the living part is in there. That's the roly polies and the worms and every other beneficial bug. Um, maybe, just maybe, I can show you guys some of them bugs. Right here goes. You see all those dots running around? Those are the beneficial bugs. And it's a lot of them. All those tiny spots that are wriggling around. Those are the beneficial bugs. Now, obviously I want to dig down into that hay and show you all them worms and show you all them roly polies and whatnot. Because yes, they're cruising. And they're rolling and creeping and crawling. But the thing is, I don't want to disturb them. You know, every time I touch that hay, or straw, whatever, it's, uh, it's disturbing that mycelia growth. And mycelia in here is thick, you guys. It's all up in the hay, you know. <laughs> Big claim. But yeah, um, it's pretty easy. Uh, as I said, I cheated my way in. Or well, I'm cheating right now because instead of uh, using organic powders, I'm using bio nutch to give everything that I need. Now, why am I doing this again? I cannot make seed sprout teas because of the moisture and all the bud in here will then rot away because of all that moisture which that bubbler will produce while making that seed sprout tea and in order to have a harvest you know <laughs> I decided to just give him water like I always had did but with a little extra to it like that um, that um that kelp let me get it real quick for you guys now this kelp is just the uh, normal seaweed and it's it's pretty pretty basic i guess it's just it's, it's non-processed it's just dried chopped up and uh, ready to be used in almost everything uh, yeah. and um it's, it's, it's good stuff. The worms love it. It's uh, essentially something as a feed for them. That's why I threw in that algamic. Because for them, it's a liquid form of their food. Instead of a, a, a powder form. And I'm guessing that they can munch on it a lot faster. And, you know, process it a lot faster than uh, throwing in some dry powdered kelp, so to say. And as you guys can see, all that brown stuff on there, those brown spots, those are actually the, um, the calcium and kelp mixed in one another. And I threw it on there instead of around it, but, you know, uh, it doesn't dissolve as good as a powder, you know. And I don't know about you guys, but once I watered it with uh, liquid nutrients, Bionutrients, at least bionutrients. Um, I, I can, I can, I don't know, I feel better with it than just dusting my topsoil. Now, if I had a farm like Brown Guy, I would have dust everything and just give it random normal water instead of mixing in all those expensive bottles of newt. Yes, obviously. But if I had a farm like Brown Guy 420, I also had a lots and lots of space to make them seed sprout teas and right now I don't and because of lack of space the moisture builds up gets into the flower tent and makes everything rot away so yes I do only want to use the powdered form newts or feedings or whatever you want to call it but I can and therefore I'm still using 
those bottled nudes. I know, it sucks, I know, I know. So yeah, the, you can call that cheating. I don't know if you call that cheating. But if you look at the title again of the video, Living Organic Bio Soil. Now, living is all the beneficial bugs. Uh, organic is, you know, the, the leaf matter that I mulch and, and uh, all the cover crop that I mulch and everything else is grown in there. That's the, that's the organic part. Now, the bio part is obviously... Let me grab a bottle. Is that um, bottle? Stuff like this. Now it's it's bottled kelp or algae or whatever you want to call it, and and it, it's the same stuff as that, but this is a dry powder, and that's the liquid. That's the difference. And, well, the soil, that's pretty obvious, right? I mean, it's all the way in the bottom. So, yeah, living organic bio soil. I'm, I'm sorry for it, for the bio part, but um, as for now, I can't make no seed sprout teas, and therefore I'm using bio newt. But, you, you know, I have to do something. And I stopped throwing in the other dry. Well, dusting, feeding, because um, because of the um, ammonia stench. One of them uh, powdered feedings is producing that ammonia smell. Now, carbon dioxide mixed in with nitrogen also produces the smell of ammonia. Now those are three things that I, that I, you know, one, the pH level, two, the newt itself that I threw in there that produces the smell, and also the carbon dioxide all those bugs produce, together with all their poo and pee and whatever, with lots of oxygen and nitrogen, which, you know, the stems produce and then carbon, whatever, all of that together also makes that ammonia smell. So I got three things that cr can create ammonia. I have to, I have to look at my... Well, it's not right here, but I, I got this piece of paper with, uh, with, uh, with uh, ammonia explained, you know, what's the pH, uh, what can cause it, uh, what do you need to produce ammonia smell. You know, the carbon dioxide, the nitrogen, enough oxygen, uh, all kinds of blood that poos and pees, and then eventually it'll smell like ammonia. Yeah. And, and the pH of 11.5. It's pretty high, right? Now, it's true that I never ever checked my pH level, but 11.5? Even though everything looks so good? Now that corner is a little empty, but that's all right, you know. That's that's all good. So yeah, you guys, it's a, it's a really long video. I haven't shown you a lot. I guess there was a bunch of straw with with some brown spots in it, you know. So don't hate me for using bio newts. Um, um, as soon as I moved, or have moved, or as soon as I'm gonna move, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put in my garden a bucket of a um, hundred gallons, like that smart pot, and brew my own um, seed sprout teas, or just one with everything in it, or just multiple with each tea something else like a popcorn seed sprout tea an alfalfa seed sprout tea uh, a malted barley seed sprout tea or just a barley tea you know or maybe i'm just going to throw everything in together and just let it boil let it let it bubble let it don't boil it though just let it bubble with an air stove don't don't put it on your stove or in your furnace or something 
just let that bubble and, and you know and then give it to your plants but I can't again everything will rot because of the moisture buds don't like moisture that stuff over there is already wet enough it also evaporates and whatnot though that hay is keeping some of that moisture restrained in in the s straw itself but you know it's five liters that I just threw on there you know It's not a lot. I don't give them a lot of water normally. I give one plant one and a half liters each Thursday and each Sunday. And that's basically it. I've been doing that for years and it works. Now, because of this whole square meter, I have to give five liters instead of one and a half each plant. I give everything. five liters and it's necessary it really is looking for a right angle for you guys so yeah it's it's easy it's you don't have to do a lot um, every time you deal leaf you just throw it on there you don't have to you know throw it away in your in your bin and put it outside for for the trash guy to collect it which can smell the weed and whatever if you do not reuse it and uh, people can find out that you're growing if you're not allowed to grow and well mulching everything is beneficial for the bottom life but also for uh, carbon dioxide stems and leaves and whatnot it's also good for your mycelia because it will munch on there it's also good for your worms it's basically a feeding for them uh, it's also good for your soil because everything that is left over is going to become part of that soil and everything the worms and all the other bugs are pulling out is becoming part of that soil. The only thing that I need to do is make sure that in the middle those clovers will sprout and come up. Now on the package it said it, it should take them 20 days. 20 days. I marijuana seed just takes four, maybe three, maybe two, if you're lucky two, you know, and, and clover is taking up 20 days of my time before, you know, it, well, that's the, what's the package says. The thing is, these are not crimson clovers or whatever kind of clovers, these are those lucky kind of clovers in, in which maybe, hopefully, uh, uh, a clover, a four-leaf clover will sprout in between the random three-leaf clover. So yeah, um, I've got something on in the middle as a <clears throat> cover crop. It's not really cover crop. But, you know, hopefully there will be a, a four-leaf clover in it. Who knows? I don't know. So yeah, guys, um... I've been going on long enough, you know, almost 40 minutes now, I'm just doing my thing, you know, but live, I'm talking to you, but next to that, um, I do need to go back to that 4K cam, because that 4K cam has better footage, cannot go on live, but still, I'm, uh, I'm going to use that one again and ditch the phone. Because the phone is good, you know, don't get me wrong, the audio is awesome. But uh, as footage goes, oof, should use something else. Maybe I can make a mix of, uh, of uh, this audio from my phone. And the footage of my 4K cam. Now that would be that would be awesome, right? So yeah, guys, um, a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, what you doing? Sub Tobias. The comments though are coming through on a very very slow rate. So everybody that commented, I guess already left. <laughs> and um 
Can I can I do that? Oh, cool. I can see the actual chat. Okay. Didn't know that. So, yeah. Guys, it's been 40 minutes. I've shown you... Ah, ac ac action f action 740D. Sup? Sup? He's alive, watching me, doing my thing. I'm so proud right now. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Um, I'm cheating. I'm using bio nudes instead of them dry dusting stuff. Um, I got some fenugreek growing. What's wrong, dude? You had to change channels? Why? Like the pop-ups are, or the comments are like popping up at, at this corner of my phone, like, you know. I was already wondering why Action 420 LED Gardens wasn't uploading any videos. <laughs> okay, just a change. Okay. But sometimes change is good. Um, like I did, I'm giving Canna and Biobase nutrients, uh, liquid nutrients, instead of dusting this, uh, this, this, this layer of hay, you know. And um, it's doing the job. It's not smelling uh, like ammonia anymore, so that's good because it was smelling up the whole place. I didn't like that. Also, have the cat to uh, to uh, consider, you know. But yeah, guys, it's uh, it's mulching. The worms and roly polies are cruising, and all of them beneficial bugs. And there's one, and another one. You see you moving. They're all in there. It's all good. Now, I want to dig down for you guys to show you guys them worms and roly polies, but I don't want to disturb that mycelia or them worms. You can actually see the root of that granite fenugreek. You see that? That's the plant. And that's its root. Ish. It's like this one is actually growing inside of my tree. See that? There's also a root crown coming out of that stem. So yeah, guys. I'm cheating my way into the bio-living organic soil. Or living organic soil. But I'm using bio nudes. Uh, on top of that, I also use my, uh, my organic matter, my D-leaf matter. To, uh, to mulch down, extra feeding for them worms. I use kelp for them worms. I use algamic from Biobase for them worms. Um, as for flower, I use that canna floris and for veg as well. I use some boost from canna, but I'm gonna switch all of that out for Biobase just like before I went to this living organic bleh. And uh, I'm still gonna use my uh, Biobase to keep everything as it should be, you know, worms fed, roly polies eaten, all the other beneficial bugs doing their thing, getting food, mulching all my stuff, not throwing it away for the garbage man to smell all of my goodness, and then report me or whatever. I don't want that shit, so I'm gonna mulch everything down. The next step, oh, let me give you guys some footage. The buds, real quick before I go. Let's try to get you guys a nice close up over here. It's doing good, it's not gigantic again. This is the first time trying this with, uh, with that hay, but for now, the first time around, it looks pretty good. Again, temperatures 25. And a 80 Fahrenheit. But that's all good. I'm doing this under Horty Light LED bars of 90 watts each setup. And each bar is 45 watts. That's a 90. And that's a 90. But they're pretty expensive. They're 150 bucks. 
So that's 300 for just two of them. But yeah, guys. It's been uh, 45 freaking minutes. Damn. I talk a lot. I talk too much. So yeah, I hope you guys keep on growing so that I keep on watching your videos. Because, you know, I learn, like to learn a trick or two. Because these are all aloe vera clones. You know, Girl Scout cookies cloned with aloe vera smudge. Put in some soil. Mmm. It's good. Time does fly. So yeah, time to wrap all of this up. Again, keep on growing so that I can keep watching your videos. And learn a trick or two. And remember you guys. Have fun growing.